After another successful regular season, the Florida Gators have made their way to Miami to begin preparations for a second consecutive New Year's Six Bowl. Christmas in Miami. Feels good. Christmas present waiting for them, courtesy of head strength coach, Nick Savage. Classic to Coach Savage. One thing about Coach Savage, he gonna keep you guessing it. He caught me off guard. Man, we standing there like, man, it's, it's really Christmas day, man. They're going to go south. Ah! Oh, he, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna put my bag down, go to my room, kick my feet up. Nah, we're doing a dynamic, bro. J. Ham, break it down. And they go, work on three, work on three, work on three. Work. Welcome back. Yeah. <laughs> I think, man, he was waiting to get back, man, waiting for all to get back and get us in the hotel, man, and start training. Hey, we missed one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he probably got a new whistle for Christmas. That's probably all he wanted. He probably ran here. I don't know if he went home. He probably ran here from Danville. We're going to build up intensity. Static stretch. Straight line, mount clap. We get that I remember, like, last Christmas, he sent us a video of him doing, like, 100 yard sprints. He was in Ohio, like, 100 yard sprints in, like, a blizzard. So, you know, he's just one of those type of guys. Hey, we go, same thing back. Take it all the way through the dogs and stay back. Are we all good? I mean, his, his energy is infectious. I would not be surprised if he was just sitting there with what's on his hand the whole break, just waiting to get back to the hotel. Great job, break it down real quick. We're going kicking. All right, Christmas. Merry Christmas! And they go, family on three, family on three, one, two, three. Kick in, kick in. Before pre-practice meetings begin, coaches can take a few moments to themselves to prepare. Inside linebackers coach Christian Robinson is eager to put his promising young group to work. I think the, when I look back on the season, we've gotten progressively better at the things that we do, whether it's scheme or practice, fundamentals, all those bits and pieces that go into being a good team. And I think that that's the part that intrigues me about bowl games is can we go finish and continue to get better? Man, he's, he's a great guy, a great coach, definition of a player coach. And, uh, one thing I can say about Rob, he's honest and uh, he'll do everything for us. He loves us to death. I try to make it where this is a classroom. I want to constantly improve, enjoy coming in here. Too many times I think guys get stressed out by all of these things I got to do, but that one thing that you study and you focus on becomes the, the one reason why you make a sack in a big time game. He's a great teacher. He makes sure like we understand it. He makes it easy for us like so we can remember and go, and go out there and do what we got to do. And any four wide, exactly right. Anytime I get that four wide look, I gotta be ready to spear the back, okay? Imagine this guy coming free off this edge. That, that's a hit on the quarterback. He's gonna start scrambling. It's gonna be a sack, okay? Everybody good with that. Uh, Coach Rod knows, knows the system, knows, like, knows everything in and out. So when he breaks it down to us, it's like way easier. Like He knows what Franklin is looking for, what we need to do. Just basically perfect our crowd and what we need to do better. All week long, while we're here, you guys know the game plan. There's very few things that are going to change. So I'm looking for you to be experts of what you know. That's what bowl games are about. It's studying as a player and a coach. You know, I think that's the thing coming from playing 
you you know the issues physically that are going to come not just hey this is your your job it's hey this is going to it's going to feel tough you know you're going it's going to be it's not going to be easy as it sounds it's we, it's all good in air conditioning and then when you go out there and there's 90,000 people that's a very different than sitting in a meeting room telling them hey this is easy let's go let's go let's go In the first practice in almost a week, it is vital that the team maintains the level of focus and energy that has gotten them to this point. Okay. I'm gonna start with, hey, all I wanna do is come shock and then rip a skate. Everybody got it. so I'm gonna come out, my stance right there. So I'm gonna, I wanna see you step, come out, unload. Down the left, set, go. I got it. I'm, I'm looking for them to just play fast, uh, enjoy being back out there. They should be refreshed. I know uh, coming off a couple days off with their families, mentally come back refreshed and ready to go compete because the one thing I know about our guys is that they love to compete with each other. You know, we're running down the hallway. that They're competing. They, it doesn't matter where I put the ball down. We're going to go compete. And for them to be able to go do that in one of college football's biggest stages, uh, we get to prepare for that in the next couple days. So James, if you give him a switch call and he goes to flat and he goes vertical, you got to push with this guy, buckle, push to that guy. You see that? You okay with that? Switch, yeah, switch. And if they if they motion that guy back over, your new number three would be the back. Okay. As they come. Take them as they come. Here we go. Match it. Finish it! There we go! I don't just want to be present. I want to be the best. And um, whether it's film study, whether it's a weight room, whether it's practice, if if there's a, can be a winner, that's that's the only thing that matters. So you're reading run pass and you're balling off anything that comes. If your guy's staying right there, there might be a reason. It's those guys' job over on that side. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm a guy uh, uh, that loves words of affirmation. So anytime that you tell me I'm doing a good job, I think Coach Rod does a good job with that. Uh, he makes sure he lets you know you're doing a good job. But he's also, if you mess up, he's going to coach you when you get to the sidelines. So, oh, well, because the play that they did, they didn't start. I see what you're seeing. Well, I, will, I will go over it, but the one that I showed you was a little different. Uh, a little different. We'll coach you down. Here we go. And that is, that's why, I mean, Coach Mullen coming here and bringing that mindset. And uh, de defensively, Coach Grantham, the fast, physical, aggressive mindset, we, we do not sit on our heels. That it, we go attack people and take it to them. And I think that shows in our production and the success that we've had in a short amount of time. I mean, it's, it's top down. <laughs> Hey, eyes up, eyes up real quick. A uh, bunch of things to go over at one. Hey, good attitude out here today. Yeah, got, we just got to clean some things up. The intensity of, of how we practice. Had a couple days off, haven't played in a while. Hey, okay? haven't played in a while. Came out, we had a good week of practice back at home. Get here, okay? we got to come out tomorrow, have another great practice. I like our attitude. I think we just got to clean up the intensity. We're on a three-day practice week, a little bit different. Got to stay focused, got to continue to physically and mentally grind to prepare because we're here to go win a game. Hey, family on three, family on three, one, two, three. While you must never lose sight of the task at hand, Bowl Week provides a unique opportunity for team bonding and relaxation. After another physical practice, the guys took advantage of their surroundings and enjoyed some time at the beach. This is my first time in Miami. Just throw that out there. And so that's my first time at the beach. But you know what I mean? Like at home, we jump in creeks and rivers all the time. So I headed straight to the ocean, just jumping in with me and my boys. Ah! 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 They got no intention of coming back. I want y'all to see some foolishness right here. Look at them. 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 Look Hey, Mike! Hey, they tripping, bro. Look at Trey, bro. Ooh. I want a cold. It was just a good experience, man. You see everybody just chilling and not thinking about football for once and all. It was a, it was a nice, relaxing day. But the only, the only thing I had a problem with is uh, getting sand on my bag. You know, once you get sand, you ain't getting that out no more. Not cheap, that's like a half. Hey, it's not cheap. Hey, we got, we got, we got half. We got half. We got half an orange slice right here, and you gonna be a cheap bro. Man, we love being around each other, but anything we do, we gonna compete. You know, it don't matter what it is. So, uh, I think just, you know, it's just us, man, just having fun.
Yeah, it's always competitive. Everything competitive that you do in life, even in life, you gotta be the most successful person that you can be in life. Who you think who the best swimmer on the team? Who the worst swimmer on the team? Me. You the worst. I'm, worst? I'm the best swimmer. Oh. Worst swimmer. <laughs> you wanna get drowned? Come with me. <laughs> I'm not the best one. <laughs> it doesn't mean I won't get out there and swim. You know what I mean? We might, I might surprise myself, but I, I wouldn't say I was the best. <laughs> Guys, we like to have fun. We work hard, so when it's time to have fun, we have fun. You know, we talk a lot about in our room is you never know when you're gonna get your opportunity. So, you know, one or two things are gonna happen when you go in. Either your teammates are gonna be like, yes, let's go, or they're gonna be like, oh no, what is this guy doing in the game? So, you know, we pride ourselves as a position group to, you know, to have the entire unit ready to play and, and put those guys in, posi in positions to where, uh, where they can be comfortable and, and go out there and, and use, the, use all of their talents. backup um, to start the season, you know, I felt like I was more nervous then than I was, you know, knowing I'm the starter going into the game, just because I know I don't want to be thrown out there in that one play um, and be unprepared. Yeah, when I went to the Kentucky game, I was preparing before the game uh, just as much as I did now, because I didn't want to be unprepared out there on the field. And, uh, it's been a wild ride this season. You got to play in a lot of big time games, and you know that's why you come to Florida to play in games like this. And uh, we just want to keep that tradition going. Okay, third downs. Okay, so we got third down in red zone today. Okay, just go just reinstall this stuff. Okay, so ten plus. Um, it's not OCD or anything. It's just I keep on finding pens all over the place and I put it in my backpack so I make sure I don't have, um, I'm never missing a pen. Um, and then sometimes y'all, I have a pocket in my backpack I always keep them in and then they all like fall to the bottom so then I think that I have no pens because they're not in my pocket and I just keep on refilling them. And then whenever I try to clean out my backpack I got like 20 pens at the bottom of it. I feel like preparation's huge in my life. Like I never want to be not know what I'm doing or unprepared. You know, it's great to bo see both of those guys develop as much as they have. I totally expected it. You know, I've seen those guys work from, from the first day they got here. It's not, it's not a surprise for me. It's just great for me to see that everyone else outside of the city can see how hard they work and how good of a player they are. We're in a, in a fortunate enough position to where all of those guys have gotten equal reps the entire time that they've been here. When it comes uh, to meetings and on the football field, like if I don't know what I'm doing, like I'm going to figure it out. Back leg, leave vertical. Let's go. Good. Slide, slide, slide. Back leg. Nice and smooth on the throw. Uh, I think all of, all those guys work together. I think Coach Johnson does a great job of teaching those guys on what to do, their reads, how to read defenses, and things like that. So both of them listen. Man. They listen. They want to get better. They want to improve. How that air taste up there? I think Coach Johnson is just a great teacher because he can, like, some people don't know how to coach certain people, but he, he know how to talk to certain people because everybody doesn't want to take coaching the same. So I think he know how to get through to these guys. Okay, safety kept getting depth. If safety jump, but you got the post over his head, right? We went back to the tag. You gave him a lock plant? No. He just ran a plant? You gave him a little off coverage. The personality and coaching style that he has is so easy to talk to because you know he's been in the situation he's been a quarterback at a big time games before and he's just very easy to talk to for any questions that you have plans in okay plans in plans in continue to study it go over it have a good time okay dave and buster enjoy yourself handle yourself the right way with class okay and respect okay 
and then get ready to go. All right, get ready to go win the game tomorrow. All right, continue to practice at a high level. Here we go. Win on three. Let's go. One, two, three. Win. Woo! Woo. David Buster is going to be probably loud and competitive. I know that's, that's for a fact. So it can start as a fun little playing game, but at the end of the day, it's going to be let's compete against each other and see who want to win. Hey, stop playing. Oh, it's over. <laughs> I know. I won. That's a thousand tickets. You got ten. Damn. <laughs> It's going to wait till they go past it and then it's going to grab it. What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm going to go in there and get it. What's up? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, we. Yeah, come on, man. You know, we got a lot of, we got a lot of competitiveness in our, in our team. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Big combo. He already sweating oh. and it didn't even start yet. He's a good answer, though. He's sweating and it didn't even start yet. Good. The basketball competition, that's where it gets intense. The Dave and Buster's basketball. Oh, there we go. There we go. They're coming. Oh, yes, sir. You got a lot of football players trying to chew the basketball. That ain't going to end well. Hey, hey, oh. Well, you know, everybody think they Kobe, including me. <laughs> but anything we do, we're going to compete. You know, it don't matter what it is. So uh, it's just us, man, just having fun. We got the high score. In the mind, it's high score. Get yep. it standing. Thousand tickets, highest score in the game. Ever to do it. But it's gonna give me a good present. I'm, I'm gonna get as many tickets as I can. I don't care what little kid is next to me. I'm, I'm gonna shove them out of the way uh, <laughs> if I'm losing. <laughs> Thousand tickets, I'm hitting jackpots all night. You know what I mean? Lucky number seven, we going crazy. Oh yeah, you know that. We gotta win, we gotta, play, we gotta compete to be the best. We go again. <laughs> As the week comes to a close and game day nears, the importance of routine cannot be overstated. Week after week, team meal is when the task at hand begins to come into focus. All right, eyes up, eyes up, eyes up. Hats off, headphones off. You've been preparing a long time. Get ready to go play. You want to be a big time team, you got to go show it. You're on the national stage, only game on in the country. Only game on in the country. Finish what we started. This team started almost a year ago. Okay? Almost a year ago, this team was born. With a desire to be in one of the best teams in the country. You have the opportunity to go finish that tomorrow as one of the best teams in the country. Go out there on the field, show it, prove it. Go finish with one of the best teams in America. That's what it's all about. Right? Right. So, uh, if it's a bowl game, we'll go with the first punt team. First punt. This is my Friday night meeting ahead of time. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a couple chicken tunnels. I'm gonna get a couple drums, only drums, no flats. And I'm gonna get like four rolls. Yes, sir. Hey, the last time I get the fried chicken, man, that's crazy. Daddy gave me up. It's a little, a little thick right now. I stirred it up, get it right for them boys right there, man. Show y'all how to make a plate, though. Mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, and gravy, and we go pass some. We just to get the chicken. We good, just like that. Every Friday, it's a routine. Can't get nothing else. Grab some of these wings. The time to eat good. You know, we eat good every game day. Every game, Friday. Today, I don't know what today is, but it's a Friday before the game, and we eat delicious. You gotta have that chicken. So I look for the softest cookies. I don't like I don't like the hard cookies. Some people do, some people don't. I look for the soft cookies. You know, I gotta find that caramel. And that vanilla ice cream. That's it. Get some of these right here, man. My rainbow special. All my gator fans know what it is. Keeping with routine, there's one Friday night tradition that quarterbacks coach Brian Johnson is not going to let go of. 
I don't know. I mean, it kind of started his freshman year, and I was just messing around on Instagram, and I caught him eating, and it was, I don't know, I posted the story, and everybody kind of went crazy over it, so it just kind of became a deal where I started just every Friday night meal, I would try to sneak and catch him eating. But it's gotten harder this year. Like it used to be really, really easy. So now it's like gotta, I gotta kind of be strategic of of when I get him. No, huh? It's a tradition at this point. We've been doing it for about two years now. <laughs> yeah, sometimes like I'll get up, you know, go get my go get my plate, come back, you know, I try to. You know, sometimes I have to wait till dessert. Um, sometimes Coach Johnson will just like sit there all quietly, like he's on his phone for like 10 minutes, and then uh, as soon as he gets Emory, then he just like just puts his phone down, and so, like then the dinner starts for him. I don't have anything special. It's kind of spontaneous, so we'll see. Um, I'm gonna try to try to get him early. After a long week of preparation, there is no better wake-up call than the voice of head strength coach, Nick Savage. Wake him up! Hey, big guy! How we doing? John G, you can't have for me, John G! That is too early, is it? How? Wake him up! 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 Wake him up. Get up in there! Wake him up! The day starts with the team walk, meant to clear the mind of all distractions and get the blood flowing through the body. This procedure is shortly followed by one last reminder of how they got here. Standard. Last thing I got for you, 2019. That, that, that. The final chapter is now on you. Tonight we are live from Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens, where tonight the Florida Gators beat the Virginia Cavaliers in the Capital One Orange Bowl game. Hello again, everybody. I'm Mickey. Welcoming you to another exciting night of Florida Gators football. Three years ago, this team was four and seven, and now there's a buzz. They are brimming with confidence. Dan Mullen has brought this program back to the brink of the playoffs. Hey, we got here together. We got here together. Let's finish it tonight. We'll never get to play together in this unit ever again. Don't forget that. Play for each other. Play for your team. Play for the state. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. 
Touchdowns in the red zone, right? Let it rip. Let's go have some fun to get us a big time win. All right? Good. We got bring it in. Let's go. Win on three. One, two, three. Win. win. Woo! You should look somebody in the eyes and tell them, let's go. Right now, look somebody in the eyes and tell them, let's go. You earned playing at the big time day. You earned playing on the biggest stage. Go out there and enjoy it. Have fun. Play hard. Relentless effort. As hard as we can go for 60 minutes. Every snap as hard as we go for 60 minutes. Find a way to go get ourselves a big time win. Let's say click, click. Go, say boom. Click, click. Boom. Click, click. Boom. Click, click. Boom. Let's go, man. And it's one on three. One, two, three. Wow. One thing it is out. Here come the Florida Gators. I would put it on the right hash and run the run the sweep to our to our sideline. They've got it at the 38 yard line. There's the snap and the handoff comes with the running back Piran off the left side. He gets into the secondary. A beautiful run down the left sideline. After a lightning quick start by the offense, it was now the defense's turn to set the tone. Hey. Run up top, coming to you. Here's Perkins trying to get the edge. Won't get there, won't get back to the line of scrimmage. The loss of one. David Reese saw to that. Go get him, Charles. Go get him, Charles. Third and six. Here's Perkins. Pocket collapses. And he is dropped for the sack. Zuniga and Carter get there. You'll see him play at least 15, 10 or 12 or 15 snaps in the game. This is a normal mode of operation for Dan Mullen throughout the year. And here is Jones doing exactly what he does, taking off and rushing the football through everyone for a gain of 17. Oh! This isn't the first time Dan Mullen's done this, right? He did it with Chris Leak and Tim Tebow in the national championship here. Reaching the level of success the Gators have over the past two seasons requires a buy-in from top to bottom. That starts with the seniors, led on this night by running back LaMichael Pirine, who is on the cusp of a career game. That's a great job, like we talked about, third and long, just taking a hitch if they bail out of there, right? They can't tackle us, so just make, you know, get our get our athletes the ball in open space like we talked about. That's a hell of a job. Now, talk with Piran. They just bailed out of there on the double smash T scene. The mic just ran. If that guy just bails like that, tell him just stop, you know what I'm saying? And then you just put it on him. You got a T scene, they all bailed, turn around. That's what I was thinking about, I should have did. You got a just sitting back like this. It'll be third and 10. Trips. Wide to the right for the Gators. Trips to the left. The snap to Trask. He looks to throw it off the left. He's got a receiver. A catch from Piran. Piran breaks a tackle and he takes it in for a touchdown. Oh my! The Michael Piran makes the grab and gets his second overall touchdown of the night as the Gators take the lead 13 to 7. What a great job by Piran. Trask, as we've seen him do time after time, standing so poised in that pocket, scanning the field. Sees P. Ryan out of the flat on the left. 
broke a shoestring tackle and took it into the end zone. On the ground, a P rider is left. Wide open lane into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida. Third touchdown of the game for the Michael P ride. Two on the ground, one through the air. Man, that looked easy. Yeah, well, and, and that was on the ground, through the air. Kyle Trask was efficient. Uh, this Florida offense has had more balance in this game than any game I've seen all season long. 11 guys, as hard as they can, run into the ball. If we play in our maximum effort, we'll run them down, we'll beat blocks, we'll get sacks, okay? Slow them down up front, make plays on the end. We've had two contested plays they've made. We still have the opportunity to go make those plays. We slow the ball, the ball down the field. We need to get some picks, okay? It's the intensity of how hard we go defensively to completely shut them down. Everybody got me? We need to just keep getting after these guys too, okay? Because, hey, if you keep them in the pocket and you got get to the upfield shoulder and send it back, and we already got a hug sack, if, we, if they do their job like they've been doing, we'll get another sack. Everybody understand? All right, we got to finish this, all right? Okay. I got half a football left. Okay, half a football left. Let's go finish this. Let's go. No coaching point when I get the ball to. Don't get the ball to. They like that coaching point. <laughs> right? I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we good? All right, let's go finish it. Let's go. Let's go win. Hey, great first half. 30 minutes. 30 minutes, that's what we got. 30 minutes of football. Okay, 30 minutes of football. I'm not as concerned about the score. Yeah, what I'm concerned about is going as hard as we can every single snap. Enjoying playing every single snap of the game as hard as you can. I don't care if it's one play, 30 plays, whatever it is. Every guy in this room, whether it's covering a kick, whether it's blocking on return, whether it's PAT field goal, trying to block a field goal, whether it's third down pass rush or first and 10 running the ball. Every guy in this room as hard as they can for the next 30 minutes. Enjoy it, have some juice, flying around there. Let's go win this as a team. We go win this game as a team, okay? Get loose when we get out there on the field. Get a great stop defensively. Just keep rolling on offense. Light this game up, enjoy this second half. Everybody got it? Three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Come on, Big Reed. You know what time it is. Led by senior John Grenard, the defense followed the motto that has gotten them to this point. Three words, fast, physical, aggressive. Bro, bro, I'm making him run outside every time. I'm bullying the guard every time in his face, every play. I'm, I, I'm just bullying him. Let's go knock the ball out, bro. Let's go. Get some damn juice. Let's go. Let's go knock a ball out right here. Let's picked up momentarily, and then Perkins going to be picked up and thrown down as the football comes out. Kemp fell on the football, but Grenard got to Perkins. Here's McPherson. All the way and blasts it through. Evan McPherson is good. Weird formation here. Reese said it moments ago. This could be your ball game here. They can get a first down. Here's Perkins. Has a lane and has a touchdown. Joe Reed into the end zone for Virginia. Now, what a great opportunity for Kyle Trask. His first year as a starter, he's seen a lot. He's been through some battles. He's been in fourth quarter games. Snap to Trasky on play action. Now gives it off to Pierce, and Pierce running. Makes a man miss. Keeps his balance and gets a first down. Nicely done there by Pierce to give the Gators the first down as they move the ball. Here's Trask. Zips one across the middle. Wide open. It's Tyree Cleveland. Shade him to the left, dropped everybody out. Go. There's the snap to Trask, and he fakes P. Ryan. He's going to run it with P. Ryan out in front of him, and Trask takes it in. The quarterback scoring a one yard rushing touchdown for the Gators as Florida builds a 33 to 21 lead. Less than five and a half to go.
Perkins lofts one. 50 50 ball is picked off. Kair Elam comes up with the interception. On Assis Dubois, the receiver. And Elam wins that battle. And it's a critical turnover. Great design there from Todd Grantham. Expecting, making it look like a blitz, but it being coverage, he fooled Bryce Perkins into throwing that one up. I am, baby. I told y'all y'all better be on the lookout. He's got so much confidence. As a true freshman, to get your head turned around and go after that ball, you can see it. Trask takes the snap. Virginia can't stop the clock. There'll be no more action tonight. And the Florida Gators have won back-to-back -back New Year's Six Bowl game appearances. They stay undefeated in their Orange Bowl history. As Florida has beaten Virginia here in the Capital One Orange Bowl game at Hard Rock Stadium. Yeah, hold on, hold on. It's, it's two on. It's two, yeah. Now what? Now what? You know what? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. But now it is my pleasure to present to you, Coach Dan Mullen, the 2019 Capital One Orange Bowl Trophy. Turning over a program is tough. You have to lean on guys like your veterans, your seniors. What have guys like LaMichael P. Ryan and the veterans on your team meant to you? You know what? They're so special. Uh, two, a little over two years ago, uh, you know, uh, they, we, I got hired to be the head coach here at the University of Florida. And, and I told all those guys in the first meeting, hey, you know what? We're going to earn each other's trust. And I believe in all of you. And you came here to Florida to live up to the Gator standard. And if you look at that now, these guys bought in. You know, the seniors, the upperclassmen came in. They bought into everything we're doing. Understand what it means to be a Gator. And the Gator standard's back. And I know they're building for what we want to build, which is a championship program.